everyone! Welcome to this month's Sephora Play Box. I am really loving this subscription. Love, love, love it. Alright, so jumping into the things that I got last month. So first thing that I had gotten last month was this Milk Makeup Sunshine Oil. And I like that it comes in this little twist-off pouchy thingy where you can see what you have left. And I tried this a few different ways. So I tried this on my face. I tried it as a dry oil in my hair. And I tried it when my hair was damp. And I tried it on my cuticles because it kind of said in the pamphlet thing that you could use this a whole bunch of different ways. Um, this smells delightful. Um, and... I thought it was nice for all of them. The only thing I wouldn't recommend would be um, the dry oil in your hair because it did make it kind of greasy. But I liked this. I thought it was nice. I love oils, so um, I'm always looking for new ones that I like. Next was the Sephora um, Colorful Cheek Ink Gel in the color Peony, which is number one. I loved this. This was amazing. It was a great texture, really easy to apply. I just had the most incredible staying power of any blush I think I've tried that I can remember. I mean, it was like looking amazing at the very end of my day, which I love it. Next was this Sunday Riley Good Jeans All-in-One Lactic Acid Treatment. And I didn't use this for a long time. It actually took me like researching and kind of figuring out how to use it before I did because I didn't really know how to use it um, and there was a few different types so it kind of said you could use it as a treatment or as a mask if you mix it with other products but I was like well we only got this so I don't know how to use it and it kind of said as a thin layer as a primer and so I've been using this the last few days underneath my makeup and I think it's nice I wouldn't say that it's like the best primer out there I don't think that it has really made my makeup stay any longer than any of the other face primers that I've used recently However, I know it's, um, you know, a pretty good skincare brand, so it hasn't broken me out at all. Um, its smell is pretty neutral, and um, I think it probably would be a really good one if you have really sensitive skin, if you break out to lots of other primers. Um, stain color, like I said, very comparable to regular primers. Not quite sure how it is price-wise, though. I know Sunday Riley can be a bit of a pricey brand. Next was the Clinique Pep Start Eye Cream, and I loved this. I thought it was so nice. It was nice, refreshing, felt nice and cooling on my eyes. I don't know if it's supposed to do that, but I thought it was a great morning eye cream. I like something a little lighter in the morning, something that's going to give me moisture, but also not look gross underneath my makeup. Never had an issue with this. Um, used it on my non-makeup days as well, my weekends, that kind of stuff, so I really liked it. Next was this perfume by Derek Lamb, 10 Crosby 2 AM Kiss. I actually thought that this kind of smelled nice, and I tried at first just spraying like a couple sprays and then noticed that I didn't smell it again like the rest of the day. And so then I started like dousing myself with it, and I still kind of noticed that I barely smelled it throughout my day. So I don't know if it's just because this only like spritzes out such a tiny amount in these little things whereas a full bottle of perfume sprays a lot more but I just didn't feel like it had very good staying power so for that reason I don't think I would repurchase um, although I did think it smelled really nice and then the last thing that we had gotten was this NARS satin lip pencil and I really like this. I'm actually wearing it today to kind of show the color it is on my skin. It's a really nice neutral e color but still has some pigment to it. Um, I feel like I can wear this to work and not feel like I'm too done up. Um, it wears off really nicely so it doesn't get patchy or anything weird. It's nice and creamy. Feels good on the lips. The only downfall I have to say about this is this is the exact one that we got in a birthday month. I want to say two years ago, last year, so 2015, I believe, and um, I have a birthday at the very end of the year, so mine is still, like, good from that. Now, of course, I've opened this one now, too, so I have two going, and probably didn't really need to because I have, like, so many lip products, but with that being said, there could be worse things to have duplicates of. It, like I said, is a really nice color for me. I really like it. I love the NARS lip products. They're great. Um, 
So yeah, that was really the only downfall. And if you are new to Sephora and don't really get the birthday thing, then this was good anyway, because you probably don't have it. All right, so moving on to this month. This month came a little bit different. It came in this box that you have to like open up. And then inside it says play. And then our little booklet thingy is right on top. And it doesn't like feel like as good material. It's kind of like a, it's like this this time instead of a full booklet. So that's kind of disappointing. I don't know if more people are getting this and they have to cut down on costs or what, but um, then everything is in this little bag and it says, let's beauty together. So that's actually kind of cute. Although I have to say that I love these boxes. So I'm kind of sad that there's not another box. I hope it's just this month and this is just like a weird thing for this month. All right. So first thing I see is a perfume. And I think that there's one perfume sample in every month. I think I was reading that on the Sephora Play thing. Okay. So this is the Atler Cologne Orange Shanguin. Not quite sure how to say that, but I'm going to open it up and take a sniff. Now, I hate oranges. I There are very few things that I dislike food-wise, and oranges is one of them. So I hope it doesn't smell like oranges. Um, It does a little bit, but it's not terrible. So I will give it a shot. I'll see how it goes. Um, citrus is not the worst scent you could smell like. Next is the Brigio Dope Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. I'm assuming this is a hair mask because I've used this brand before for hair products. So I will read it, but I'm pretty sure it's a hair mask. So that's exciting. I haven't gotten a hair mask in a long time from any of my boxes. So that's exciting to try. Ooh, a Tartist um, lip pencil. And this is in the color Later Graham. That is so cute. This is totally like my kind of color actually very similar to what I'm wearing. And I have been wanting to try one of their lip pencils, so I'm pretty excited. So it is like a pretty maroony, um, pinky, like not like full maroon, but your lips, but better, but darker kind of a color. So I'm excited. I've never seen like a baby tart lip liner before. That is so cute. Next is the Origins New Maskamizer Skin Optimizing Mask primer. <gasps> cool. So they have this new um, skin primer oil mask thingy that you use. So they gave you that in the spray bottle. And then they also gave you two sample masks to try with it, which is so exciting because not only are you getting to try the maskamizer, but also two other masks. And I love Origins. I've tried some of their things and I'm not sure if I've tried either one of those masks, but I've loved everything I've tried from them. So I'm very excited about that. Next is the Coors Wild Rose Advanced Brightening Sleeping Facial. Oh, funny. I actually am using this right now as my nighttime moisturizer. So I already know that I love this. This is exciting though. What I will do, I'm not going to actually open this tube up. I'm going to leave it sealed because then I can take this on trips with me and not have to take that whole big jar because it does come in a glass jar. Um, so exciting. I'm just going to keep on using this. And the last thing is the Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche Lipstick in the color kimchi. Um, I love the Bite Lip products. They're amazing. I have never been disappointed by any of them, even some of the crazy colors that I have tried. So I am excited about this product being in here. The color, I wish it was something more neutral. All right, well, that is everything that I got in my Sephora Play Box this month. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed and have a wonderful day. And thank you for watching. Bye.